So today we're here in Panzano, which is a tiny little town in the region of Chianti in Tuscany. Chianti, of course, famous for its amazing wine. And we've come here today to visit one of our favorite steakhouses in the area. This is the third time we're visiting the steakhouse and it's just up that hill. So I'm very happy to see this town kind of spring back to life. Last time we were here, what, two years ago, it was very like dying off. A lot of businesses were shut down, but today we came back, there was practically no parking. There's new wine bars, new restaurants. There's a lot of new construction. So this town is alive, like more alive than ever. So I'm very happy to see that. Brendan decides to start talking about a diet. I mean, I think this is a uh, bad timing for that. <laughs> the diet doesn't start now, it starts tomorrow. I mean, for the- It should start Monday, not tomorrow, Monday. Monday, yeah. Monday, yeah. <laughs> so even though we're going to this other steak place in a few hours, one of the things that we wanted to do before we get there is pregame. Now, normally people pregame by getting drunk before they go to a bar, but this is a little different. We're pregaming here with meat, cheese, and wine. That doesn't get any better than that. And we are off to dinner. It is 7.30 p.m., which is a very normal for Italian-style dinners. So we're about half a block away from the restaurant. They kind of want you to come here at around 7.30, even though you're supposed to start eating at 8. So they want you to be a little bit early. But as you're walking towards the restaurant, you have this incredible smell of food being barbecued. It's just amazing. Vernon's already eating. That's okay. <laughs> Okay, so we just started eating and one of the things that they give you first is an appetizer or pieces of bread, but they have their sort of house-made butter and salt that they give you. It's just amazing. You gotta be careful though because you can end up getting filled up on that and not have any room for the steak. So the first meat you're eating here is beef tartare. And it's not technically raw beef. Uh, it's been treated to kill the bacteria and the other things. But we haven't had it in two and a half years, so let's see. I mean, honestly, you don't have to chew it. It's lemony, it's zesty, it's fresh. I mean, you don't taste like any gaminess whatsoever. I mean, even if you don't like raw meat, I would still at least give it a try. So what do you have there, Vern? This is called Carpaccio di Culo, uh, which is Carpaccio of the Ass. So how what she referred to it as, so... <laughs> but I'm how sure does it taste? Let's see. It's very good. Pretty soft. Yeah, I like it. So this is part of their boneless steak, and it's, she said it's part of the rum. Rum? Rum? <laughs> Let's see. Mm. Wow. Very smoky. Mm. Wow. Wow. One of the crazy things about this room right now is that because of the grill, it's so smoky in here. It's like somebody smoked a hundred cigarettes everywhere in this room, but it smells like beef, so it's a lot better. All right, let's see. This is the next one. Beef stomach or beef belly. Oh, that's super, so soft. Oh my God. 
So I think she said it was a bake, but then it was finished on the grill. <laughs> it's so soft. It's like it's like eating butter almost. It's amazing mm. actually. So it's not all meat. So you do get some carbs. You get a potato, but you get to put some lard on it with some salt. How is that, Bird? Besides the wine, I think these are the only other carbs that we've gotten so far. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. So this is a steak cut, I don't know. We just keep getting steak and we just keep eating it. And I'm not complaining. Okay, we're at the point in the night where we don't know what we're eating, nor do we care. It just tastes like lemon. It tastes good. I think it's a lemon cake. It's very refreshing after all the steak. So now we're having Monsanto, and our neighbor is having grappa. Of course, you can't leave Dario's without getting some goods. Nope. What'd butter. you get? We got salt, butter, or lard, <laughs> and wine. I guess those are like the bare essentials when you come to a A little bit like of this. everything. Yeah, definitely. So it is 10.30 and we just finished dinner. Uh, yeah, it was amazing, obviously. And this is one of the reasons why we keep coming back to a place like this. Um, and we'll be back again for sure. So for this kind of a place, one of the reasons why we love it is not just the town, the beautiful environment, the weather, especially if you come in a better time of year, but the food quality is just outstanding. Yeah. And you get more than you could possibly eat. You get more wine than you could possibly drink. And so for you get that to meet interesting people. So that was really cool. And the one thing that we didn't tell you is all of that was 50 euro. So, I mean, this is probably a better deal than most restaurants that you're going to get anywhere in the world. And We'll definitely be back. We hope you uh, enjoyed the video and uh, look forward to continuing to see some more from us. More Italian adventures.